King Aegon the Conqueror had two children by his two sister wives, his firstborn son Anise with his sister Queen Rhinus, and his second-born son Maegor with his sister Queen Visenya Targaryen. When Aegon I eventually died, Anise succeeded him as the second king on the Iron Throne. The Targaryens had incestuously married brother to sister for generations, whenever possible, to keep the bloodline pure, in the custom of their Valyrian ancestors. For that matter, Aegon I broke not only the faith's rules against incest, but its rules against polygamy, as he was married to both of his sisters at the same time. The faith wasn't in much position to challenge the victorious Targaryen army after the conquest, or their massive dragons, but Aegon I was wise enough to tread lightly with the faith. Both sides tacitly agreed that the Targaryens' incestuous marriages were a relic of their past, which would soon fade. Aegon I didn't intend for future generations of his new dynasty to continue to have incestuous marriages, and in return, the faith didn't press the matter for the remainder of his life. Aegon I eventually died and was succeeded by his elder son, Anis. To the surprise of all, however, later in his reign King Anise tactlessly wed his daughter to his own son. The incestuous marriage of Princess Rhyna and Prince Aegon broke the Targaryens' prior promise to the faith, which could stand the abomination no longer. The new High Septon led the denunciation of the Targaryens, and the military order of the Faith of the Seven, the Faith Militant, rose up in open revolt. King Aeneas proved to be an utter weakling in the face of the revolt and was completely overwhelmed. As the Faith Militant attacked lords that still supported him across the Seven Kingdoms, one particularly zealous force of the order even managed to scale the walls of the, still under construction, Red Keep, and would have killed Aeneas and the royal family if not for the intervention of the Kingsguard. Frightened, Aeneas fled King's Landing entirely and retreated to the Targaryen fortress refuge at Dragonstone, where he soon died of cramps brought on from the stress. Aeneas was then succeeded by his younger half-brother Maegor, Aegon I's only child by Visenya, seizing power ahead of Aeneas' own children. Maegor was his brother's exact opposite, a highly skilled warrior and brutal tyrant, quickly earning him the name, Maegor the Cruel. King Maegor struck back against the faith militant. When he arrived in King's Landing his first act was to challenge their leaders to kill him in personal combat, if they believed his rule to be ungodly. The faith accepted, and Sir Damon Morrigan proposed they hold a trial of seven, the more dangerous but theoretically more holy variant of a traditional trial by combat in which two teams of seven men fight each other. Many tales are told of their confrontation, Sir Damon and six of the faith militant against Magor and members of his Kingsguard, but all the stories agree that at the end, out of all fourteen men only Magor himself remained alive, proving that the throne was rightfully his. Having survived the trial of seven, Magor promptly mounted the great black dragon Valerian, his father's old mount that Magor mastered for himself upon his death, and flew it to the headquarters of the city's local chapter of the faith militant, at the Sept of Remembrance. Magor used Valerian to burn down the Sept and all who were inside while they were in the middle of the morning prayers. Hundreds of the faith militant burned to death, their screams echoing through the streets. Magor now demanded the complete destruction of the faith militant, and made war upon the order wherever he found it. Yet the faith militant would not surrender, raising its own armies across the realm, and turning some of Magor's own lords against him. Many battles were fought as the faith militant uprising dragged on for years, lasting throughout all of Magor's reign. Magor finished constructing the Red Keep during his reign including the formidable central fortification which was named, Magor's Holdfast, after him. After the construction was finished, Magor had all the workers and masons killed, reportedly in order that only he would know all of the secret tunnels he had them build hidden throughout the castle. Eventually, Magor's reign of terror came to an end when he died upon the Iron Throne itself. Magor's cruelty died with him, however, as he was succeeded by Aeneas's remaining son, who became King Jaerys I a wise and benevolent ruler, Jaerys I made peace with the faith in return for disbanding the faith militant, ending the uprisings. Jaerys's subsequent long reign did much to mend the wounds to the realm caused by Magor.